Hey y'all. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Yep, yep, yep. It's time to spend some moments with Myra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because today, we're going to talk about the family circle. It's story time. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Story time. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. And each and every moment you spend with Myra. Yeah. Doing another story time. Yeah. So listen up. <clears throat> Excuse me. This story is going to be about two brothers and one lady. Two brothers that fell in love with the same girl. Now, before we get started, I want to say this. Sometimes family matters are just that, family matters. If the family get their issues solved between them, that's their business. They solve it. They okay with the end results. That's their business. We on the outside should not be judging. We should not be. You shouldn't. I wouldn't have never forgave it. No. If they got to resolve, they got to resolve. That's their business. We on the outside need to respect that. Because you always have to put yourself in other people's shoes before you judge. Which you shouldn't be judging anyway. But if you think about it, you wouldn't want nobody to do that to you. So that is why I say put yourself in their shoes first. Then maybe you wouldn't judge. Because life happens. Life happens. And it's so easy for us to judge or say what we wouldn't do and what we would do if we really not in that situation. It's easy to do that. But anyway, let's get started. So, let me get some names for these people, right? We're going to go with Aaron. I forget names, so I have to write it down. Aaron, Bob, and what's the girl name? Ann. So, first, Aaron and Ann were together, right? Bob is the brother. I forget names, y'all, so I have to, I'm going to keep looking. So Aaron and Ann met, fell in love, started a life together. You know, they dated um, and got to know each other. They did the uh, movie and thing. They lived together. Um, well, let me back up. Before they moved together, they met the family, so Aaron bought Ann home to meet the family. And then Ann met Bob, the brother. Um, nothing spectacular. All respect was there. Everybody loved Ann, you know, they oh she's good for you and you know. So Every time, it got to a point where 
and wanted to do something or something needed to be done. And Aaron would call Bob, his brother. Can you help Ann out? Or I'm busy. Can you run over there and do this, you know, at the house? So Aaron was putting Bob in the middle of their relationship. Well, not their relationship, but taking care of things that he should have been taking care of. Being there when he should have been there. Helping Ann out when he should have been helping Ann out. And at the same time, Aaron would talk to Bob, you know, about his relationship with Ann. This is his brother, right? He can do that. It's okay. Um, he trusts his brother. Now, Aaron is talking to Bob. Aaron also asked Bob to do a lot in his house, to do a lot for Ann. But Aaron was feeling like this is getting done, so it shouldn't be a problem, you know. Ann should not be complaining because Aaron is making sure it's getting done. It's his brother. But the more time Ann and Bob was spending, feelings started to escalate. Not intentional. It happened. As I stated, life happens. So, again, Aaron and Ann, they living together now, right? They living together. And it had gotten to a point where Ann stopped calling Aaron to do stuff, and she started calling Bob. And she would tell Aaron, well, you was going to tell Bob to do it anyway, so I just called him. So, this was her way of getting Bob over, and at the same time, justifying it to Aaron. What, what he doing here? Oh, I called him, because you was going to call him anyway, so. Again. So, now... Aaron is talking to Bob about that, you know. You know, what did you do over there, you know? Uh, is everything okay? Is she saying anything to you, you know, about our relationship? Because he trusted his brother, you know. And he's seeing that he's over there, so maybe Ann is telling him something wrong with their relationship. So he's talking to his brother about it. And seeing that his brother is starting to get feelings for Ann. He said, oh no, she just called me to fix this or, you know, run her to the store. Whatever. Um, nothing happened between them for a while, you know, but they knew they were getting feelings for each other. And it had to come where they both agreed that they needed to tell Aaron, the brother, that they were having feelings for each other um, before, you know, their relationship keep escalating and Ann now have feelings for both brothers. But the time is being spent with Bob more than Aaron. Yeah, they live together, but that quality time, Bob is available. Bob running. Aaron is all, well, he's working. I mean, he's trying to provide for the house and the family. Uh, but, and at the same time, he called his brother. Hey, bro, can you, you know, take care of this family, help me out? And brother is doing it. But those unexpected feelings start to occur. Again, Bob saying, that him and Ann had a lot in common. They talked more. Even though he was taking her to the store, even though he was fixing something around the house, they were talking, communicating. Ann would tell him, oh, she loved him, but 
she also felt like he should be doing it. This is what she's telling Bob. He should not be sending you. He should do this. He should make the time to get this done. He should be spending time with me. But he's calling on you. In the beginning, you know, Bob would say, well, you know, I'm his brother. I wouldn't want him to call another man. You know, he, he should call his brother. Right? As time went on, they didn't tell Aaron, the brother. They did not tell Aaron. And yes, they end up sleeping together. And after that, they wanted to be together. They really wanted to be together. They thought about Aaron. They thought about the family, how everybody was going to take it. You know, what was going to happen if they brought it to the light and said, we're in love and we want to be together. I mean, her and Aaron, Anne and Aaron, they was living together, but they wasn't, they wasn't married. Now, Bob wanted to marry Anne. They, I guess they had spent that much time together that he, he wanted to marry her, even though he know his brother was in love with her. He felt like I didn't I didn't plan this. And then it, I guess trying to justify it. Well, he was pushing me on her. He wasn't he wasn't pushing you on her. But that's how he justified it. He pushed us together. I don't know if that's so true. I don't know. I feel, yeah, he called on his brother. But you kind of got to be careful with that, too. You kind of got to be careful with sharing so much information with anybody about your relationship. You calling on this person to do this and do this and do this. And you telling them details? It's kind of like advertising but you don't feel that way because this is your sibling this is your brother you trust them they supposed to help you again you still got to be careful things happen life happens life happens y'all you got to know that Sometimes it's nobody's fault. Life happens. So, Ann and Bob continued to sneak and see each other. You know, Bob was available to fix something. There was always something needed. Even going to the store. You know, taking Ann to the store. At this time, no kids was involved. So, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But no kids was involved. Um, Aaron did start to suspect because Anne was pulling back. Her focus, her focus was on Bob, not Aaron. She still cared about Aaron, but Bob was her hero. So... That was her goal, to be with Bob. It was just a matter of how they was going to explain this. How was they going to come out, you know, and feel free and be together. And it's accepted. Okay, so. They love each other. So, Bob told Anne, I'm going to tell my brother. I love my brother. I love you. And, you know, the guilt, you know, sneaking around. He want to be with her. So he's going to tell his brother. So he invite the brother out. Him and the brother talking. And he tells his brother, I, I love her. 
Um, it wasn't planned. It happened. Uh, and she loved me too. Neither one of us wanted to hurt you. Um, he apologized uh, for that. But firmly stated, he wanted to marry her. He, you know, and told the brothers, like, what do you expect me to do? Just step back and say congratulations to you? This is my girl. I love her. Why would you do this to me? And again, you know, Bob, like, it was not intended to hurt you. I wasn't looking to be with her. When you brought her home, this was your girl. And hopefully one day y'all was going to get married. Because if you bring her home, it's serious, right? <sighs> so, yeah, they fell out. The brothers fell out. Aaron talked to Ann. Ann confirmed. So, Aaron is hurt. So, he now he wanted to tell the family what y'all did to him. I'm going, you know, I'm, let, let's talk, let's go in and tell everybody what y'all did. Y'all sneaking around and seeing each other and knowing, you know, we together and this my brother. So, that's what they did. Well, that's what Aaron did. He went to the parents and told the parents that his brother was messing around with his girl. He didn't put the blame on Ann. He put the blame all on Aaron, you know. I mean, I understand this being his brother, but it takes two. It takes two. Ann knew they were brothers. Because this is his brother, but Ann knew they were brother. It's a difference that she didn't know. She knew. I understand. But it's still wrong. I understand how life happens. I understand that you can spend so much time with a person. And the unexpected can happen. That's why you have to be careful um, when you're working a lot. Because you actually spend in that quality time, your quality time at work, not at home. When you come home, you're tired and ready to go to bed. So, that quality time, when you're talking, when you're spending time with each other, socializing, that's quality time. If you're not doing that at home, Something just might happen. So just remember that. But anyway. The parents got involved. And they gave their opinion. The father was like, okay. Going forward. Because what, what can you do? They been, did what they did. The line's been crossed. And now they're in love. And they want to get married. So the father, like, both of y'all are my sons. Yes, Bob is wrong. But Aaron, you got to take care of your own home. You have to take care of your own home. You don't let another man come in and take care of your home. You, you don't do that. This is what the father is saying. So he like going forward. Y'all going to have to, you know, get this resolved because you're family. And going forward, you don't let another man take care of your home. And vice versa for the woman. You don't let another woman take care of your home. Need some help? Meet me outside. <laughs> but you don't call on another man to take care of your house, to take your woman here and there. That's too much time. That's too much time. 
and you have to be careful, you know, what you put out there because you're advertising without even knowing it. You're advertising. Even though there's family, it still lies not supposed to be caused. But life happens, y'all. Family, friends, I don't care. Life happens. It took some time for Aaron to come to terms with Bob and Ann relationship and the fact that they want to get married, right? You know, they're harsh, they're hurting, but this is his brother. So, Bob and Ann got married. Aaron and Bob, they resolved their issues. I don't think the trust was there right away. It took some time. And it's going to take time. But he had to step back. Because you can't make nobody love you. Ann was in love with Bob. She cared about Aaron, but she was in love with the brother. That's who she wanted to be with. So, yeah, he stepped back. Took some time. But they're talking now. It's not like they all want a big happy family now. But he accepted it now. And they're still working on their relationship. All three of them. Even for Aaron to accept Ann as his sister-in-law now. They're working on that. But this is a family matter that's getting resolved. And you got the outsiders. What is y'all doing? How you flipping? She was with your brother. How could you marry her? Relationships are hard enough. And especially in that situation. You don't need that outside. And especially, and you still trying to, you know, get everything right with your family already. Y'all working on it. You know, at least y'all talking. But then you got the outsiders. You know, they coming at you. They still whispering and stuff, you know. Looking at you. Giving you the look. All that. Making you uncomfortable. Making you second guess your relationship. What are you going to do now? Break up because the outside people talking? You took this chance. On losing your brother. Your brother's friendship. Your brother's love. You can't worry about this outside stuff. Because you married this girl. Knowing that your brother was with her first. It's hard. Again. Put yourself in this situation. Because you can never. Never think. Certain things can't happen to you. It can. Maybe it may take longer. And maybe you can fight it off. You, I'll say, maybe you won't react. But you may have those feelings. That attraction. Those thoughts. I'm not going to say... You're going to jump on it or react to it and go along with it. But you can have those thoughts. You're human. And you may feel like, okay, that's my brother, girl. No, no. 
that thought is still there, though. You thought about it. Yeah? Be real with yourself. The thought. Mm -hmm. You're looking good. Don't mean you're going to act on it. But you're human. If you feel an attraction, you feel an attraction. If you got the feeling, you got the feelings. I'm not saying act on it. I'm not saying everybody that get those feelings gonna act on it. But what I'm saying is you're human and it can happen. So don't think it can't. No, I'm not crossing. No, you may not cross the line. That don't mean that feeling didn't pop up. Don't mean that thought. Hmm. Or that second glance. Every time you see them, looking to see if somebody looking at you, looking at them. Yes, it's wrong. But life happens. And we are human. We are human. Some people do act on it. In fact, a lot of people act on it. And apologize. Think about the person that you hurt, the chance of losing that person, friendship, they love, all that. But if you take that risk, that chance, because this is what you're feeling deep inside, and it's just gnawing at you, and you just gotta, you know, you definitely don't need the help from the outside, you know, that them throwing daggers and looking at you, judging you, whispering. You don't need that. So just remember, if a family has an issue and the family working on it, they in-house, they taking care of it, they trying to get it resolved, don't go over there bashing them. Let that family handle it. Let the family handle it. Do not. Because who are you? Does that make you better than them? Because you're talking about them? All I would say is um, be there if they need you and hope that you may have better control. Because uh, if you're judging them, hope that you have better control if that ever happened to you. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you got feelings or thoughts of a situation, a person that you know a line shouldn't be crossed, hope you got better control. Because if it happened to you, you don't want no outsiders. You don't need that. You're dealing with enough. You got family issues to resolve. Leave that at the door. Like, lock your door. Keep it out. Keep it out. That's what you do. But yeah. The family circle. That's what it is. A family circle. Not to my side. It's the family circle. Let the family handle it. Let the family deal with it. Let the family be the family in they circle. Don't be judging them. Leave them alone. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. And y'all know I want y'all to let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Because all of a sudden, I'm starting to think again and again and again. Or ramble, ramble, ramble. But these are life issues. Things that really happen in life. Maybe some things nobody want to talk about. Or accept. Life happens, y'all. Life really happens. Hopefully, you're strong enough to deal with it when it comes for you. Okay? Y'all have a phenomenal, phenomenal day or night. 
whenever you see this video. Like it, like it, like it. Share, share, share. And help a girl out.